what I want to do in this video is to explain intuitively where to maximize our revenues on our demand curve and in the next video we're gonna use math to prove it so just using common sense if we look on our demand curve over here when we have high prices we are very sensitive to changes in prices for instance if we have to pay for let's say cheese six euros we will buy a specific quantity here we would buy for instance uh, two pieces of it so two pieces of cheese for six euros per piece but then if we increase if we increase the uh, price to seven euros we would decrease our quantity demanded by a lot we would only buy half a unit so we would only buy half a piece 0 0.5 piece of cheese so what I'm trying to say is that when we have high prices relatively high prices for our goods then a change in price an increase in that price makes us react a lot because it's already expensive so we don't want to to to, to pay even more for it so across this demand there's gonna be a region there's gonna be a portion where we are reactive and how do we call this reaction we call it elastic elastic demand so let's say on this area over here for example we would have an elastic demand elastic demand and what do we say about elastic demand well when we have an elastic demand we have to take care with the prices meaning that if we want to increase our total revenues we have to offer lower prices because if we offer higher prices quantity demanded goes down very much so we know that if we increase the price on that range quantity demanded goes down by more so our total revenue actually decrease so what we want to do is to decrease the prices so that the quantity demanded would increase by more and in that case we would increase our total revenues that's our strategy for an elastic demand now let's work on the inelastic demand first and then we're going to look at the unit elastic so for instance if we look on our demand curve let's say somewhere over here at the price of two euros we would demand approximately seven pieces of cheese seven pieces of cheese now let's say if we would increase the price by one euro if we would go to three euros so if we would let me change colors if we would go up to three euros then our quantity demanded would decrease by a lot it would decrease only by one unit so we would still demand six pieces of cheese although the price went up by one entire euro so what we're trying to say here is that when the prices are low we don't really sense a very big difference between two euros and three euros we're not very reactive we're not very sensitive and how do we call that we call that an inelastic demand so let's shade this inelastic demand in a different color uh, and let's call it for example this region we would have an inelastic demand we do not really react to prices and when we do not really react to prices then even if we increase our prices the quantity demanded doesn't change much so the quantity demanded could decrease just a bit but overall because of the higher price our total revenues would still increase so we profit by increasing the price when the consumers are insensitive when the demand is inelastic but if we would decrease the price and the quantity demanded wouldn't change much it would increase just a, just a bit the total revenues overall would fall because the price decrease would drag the revenues down so our strategy here is to increase the price to increase our total revenues and finally we will have we will have a, a region a portion on the price where we would be pretty much uh, we we would have a proportionate reaction to the price so if the price goes up a bit quantity demanded would go up a bit it wouldn't be much of a difference the the relative change would be the same between prices and quantity demanded and that's what we call the unit elastic so let's say this region over here we would have a unit unit elastic demand unit elastic demand and in this case our total revenues are maximized and the way we're gonna prove it is we're gonna prove it on a graph next to it but so far this is this is what I'm trying to stress is that we have a specific point where we're very sensitive 
then we have a point where we do not really react but we're just having a proportionate behavior to the price changes and then finally we have a region where the prices are low then our reaction is pretty much oh, sorry when the prices are low any changes in the prices the reaction is is insignificant so we can still increase our revenues and that's what our inelastic demand is for let's leave it like that at this video in the next video we're gonna go through a graph and after that we're gonna work with the math we are done